Problem seven. Evie and Odette are playing a game. Three pebbles are placed on the number line. One at negative 2020, one at 2020, and one at n, where n is an integer between negative 2020 and 2020. They take it in turns moving either the leftmost or the rightmost pebble to an integer between the other two pebbles. The game ends when the pebbles occupy three consecutive integers. Adette wins if their sum is odd. Evie wins if their sum is even. For how many values of n can Evie guarantee victory if 1, Adette goes first, and 2, Evie goes first? OK, so we're trying to understand who's going to win this game. Um, you've got pebbles placed at minus 2020 and plus 2020, and a, a third pebble placed somewhere in between. You've got two players who take turns, and a legal move consists of taking a pebble, jumping over uh, an in intermediate pebble, and placing it between the, the, the two other pebbles. So the game will continue until you get stuck. And the only way you can get stuck is when the pebbles are on three consecutive integers. And you will get stuck because this process is drawing the, uh, the pebbles together, and that can't go on indefinitely. So after a, a finite number of steps, the game must end. Uh, the two players have different ambitions. There's Odette, who wants to finish with an odd sum. So that means that she... She wants to finish even, odd, even. And Evie, who wants to finish with uh, an even sum. So she wants to finish odd, even, odd. So we'll first of all analyze the situation for Odette. Well, that's slightly simpler. Oh, this is Odette going first. In this case, it turns out that it doesn't matter where the middle, pe middle pebble is placed. O Odette can always force a win. So. There is no, no pebble position uh, which allows Evie to force a win. OK, so the game begins. Uh, it's Odette to move first. If, uh, if the intermediate pebble is at 2018, uh, then Odette could take the left pebble and jump between them and win. 2018, 2019, 2020. Uh, also, if the, if the intermediate pebble was at minus 2018, uh, Odette could take the right-hand pebble and jump in and create a winning position, minus 2020, minus 2019, minus 2018. But otherwise, the unknown pebble is out there somewhere in the middle. Uh, so what should we do with it? Well, what will Odette do with it? So the important thing is there are even pebbles at the two ends. And as we stand here, what's in the middle might be even or it might be odd. And bear in mind that Odette likes it when the outside pebbles are even. So what Odette does in this position is, if she can force a win, she does. But otherwise, she can't force a win. It means that there are proper sized spaces in between the pebbles. She jumps an, an even over an even and lands in an even position. So recovering the same shape position. So Odette can either win or hand back uh, this position again. Now, what does Evie do? Evie has no choice. Evie has to jump an even over an even, and she'll end up with evens on the outside. So that is what Odette likes, because it's sort of like the beginning position, except that the middle pebble is now even or odd. We, we analyzed the situation before when, uh, uh, when Odette went first, and it was even in the middle. Nonetheless, it's evens on the outside, so, so uh, Odette is happy. Now let's look at the other situation, where you began with a, an odd number in the middle. Right. Well, at least one of the two neighbors of the odd number must be unoccupied. Otherwise, Odette has already won. So let's suppose the, the place immediately to the right of this O is free. What, 
what uh, Odette can do is to jump this even over that odd and put it exactly next to that O. Now, there's no legal jump of this E. There's no le legal jump of this E. And so, Evie is forced to jump this O. And it goes over and lands in the middle. And you get back to a configuration with E's on the outside. So, Odette is in control. She can ensure that after any move that Evie makes, there are two E's on the outside. So when the game stops, there are two E's on the outside, and the death has won. We now look at the case that uh, Evie is going first. Um, and in this case, mm, well, sometimes she wins, sometimes Evie loses. So first of all, we're starting out with the outside pebbles both being even, and the middle pebble is either even or odd. Let's suppose uh, that it's even. Well, then uh, an even number has to jump an even number, and you're left with even something even, with it being Odette's turn. And that's a situation that we've analyzed already. If it's Odette's turn, and that's the configuration, then Odette's going to win. So, E, E, E is a losing initial configuration for Evie. Only one thing remains to consider. That's when the middle pebble is in an odd position. So finally, Evie is going first. And it so happens that the middle pebble is in an odd position. In this circumstance, Evie can actually force a win. Uh, so let's see how to do that. There must be uh, uh, a blank space after this E or before the E on the right. So let's assume, without loss of generality, that there's a blank space here. So what Evie does is she jumps this E over to here. So these are now juxtaposed. It's now Odette's turn. And she's only got one legal move. She has to jump this E between those two odds. And maybe that's the end of the game. Odd, even, odd. That's a win for Evie. Or maybe it's not. But if Evie has not already won, the situation is now odd something odd. And it's Evie's first turn. But let's go back. Let's think of the first half of the argument. S exchange the role of odd and even. And exchange the role of Odette and Evie. If this were even, and this were even, and it were Odette's go, she could force a win. But this is odd, and this is odd, and it's Evie's first go. So she can force a win by taking the previous argument and just exchanging odd and even throughout the argument. And it's done. Right, so the number of uh, ways that Evie can win. Well, if uh, in the case that Odette goes first, there are no ways that Evie can win. In the case that Evie goes first, she wins if and only if the middle pebble is on an odd number. You count the odd numbers between minus 2020 and plus 2020, and you discover that there are 2020 of them. And that is that.